Close your eyes and make a firm intention that you're going to stay here with the breath. Then watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to make the breath comfortable. In this way you're feeding the mind two kinds of good food. There's the food of the original intention, which was skillful. And there's, then there's the food of the pleasant sensation of the breath. It's an important principle that you have to feed the mind well. Because otherwise, if it's hungry, it goes looking around the garbage cans, opening up the bins, eating whatever it can find. And a lot of what it can find out there is greed, aversion, and delusion. When you feed the mind in greed, aversion, and delusion, then it, that's what you start broadcasting into the world. It's if you take it in and then you intensify it and send it back to the world. That's the kind of food that's bad for your own system and it's bad for the environment. What you want is the kind of food that's good for you and good for everybody else as well. And meditation is one of the best kinds of food. Just like generosity is a good kind of food. You start out with the intention to give, and then there's a pleasure. You see the things that you've given have been used well. And so the precepts, you have the intention not to harm anyone. That intention is good food for the mind. And then you live in a world which is a lot more peaceful. That too is good food for the mind. So the kind of energy you take in, the ways you feed the mind, are then going to get broadcast out into the world. People like living in a world where there are people who are generous and people who are virtuous, where people meditate. It's a much better place to be, much better than a world where everybody's out yelling and screaming, angry about this, angry about that, because their greed for this and greed for that has been denied, or it's been frustrated. Because when you're looking for your food outside, there are going to be lots of obstacles, other people trying to get the same food that you're trying to get. But when you're focusing on the breath, no one else is trying to elbow their way in to look at your breath. When you're thinking thoughts of goodwill, when you're thinking thoughts of generosity, thoughts of virtue, no one's trying to take those away from you. There's no conflict there. Which is why this kind of feeding is not only good for you, but it's also safe. So look at how you feed your mind as you go through the day. Feed it on generosity, feed it on virtue, and especially feed it on meditation. Because there are times when you don't have what you would like to give in order to be generous. I mean, you can always give of your time, give of your energy, give of your forgiveness. But there are times when you don't have much energy, times when you don't have much time. But virtue and meditation, those are things that you can give all the time. You can always make the virtuous choice. You can always get the mind to settle down, even in the midst of your work. It's not the case that when you're working you can't think of anything else. Just take the part of the mind that would be thinking of something else and think about the breath. Be with the sensation of the breath. Then you'll be operating from a place of well-being, a place of strength, because you're feeding the mind continually with good energy. And you're going to start radiating good energy out into the world. And of course that will get reflected back at you. So remember, what you broadcast is what gets reflected back. So broadcast good energy. And you get good energy by feeding on good things. And they're right here. You don't have to go searching far away to find them. The breath coming in and going out. It's the closest thing to the mind that there is. And John Fuhn called this the grass at the cattle, the gate of the cattle pen. The cattle are inside the pen, they're hungry. As soon as someone opens up the gate, they go running out into the meadow. And even though there's grass right there at the gate, they don't eat it. They're focused on something far away. But here you've got something right nearby. And it's better than grass at the cattle gate, because there's not much of that. But this, the breath, every time it comes in, every time it goes out, can be a source of well-being can be a source of strength. So take advantage of this potential that you've got right here. 
you'll be well fed, you'll be broadcasting good energy into the world, and the world will broad reflect good energy back at you. It's a winning situation all around.